Hurricane Idalia tears through the state of Florida. The historic storm made landfall just before 8 a.m. Wednesday. A handful of reporters braved the record storm surge, 12 feet and higher. This is a residential street approaching the island of Cedar Key, which right now is completely underwater. And as you can see, even this has been turned into a river. We spoke to CBS News lead national correspondent David Begno, who rode out the storm in Crystal River. This is the power of Hurricane Idalia, and we're right in the thick of it. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez had a near miss when a giant billboard came crashing down. There used to be a billboard right there. It collapsed just within the past few minutes. This reporter for WTXL in Tallahassee was live on the air. We just lost power. It also happened during Governor DeSantis's press conference. And it's going to be very, very dangerous. And there we go with our uh, with our power here. His wife Casey posted this photo on X. A 100-year-old oak tree fell at the governor's mansion at the height of the storm. No one was injured. Look how Idalia ripped the roof off this home, exposing the rooms inside like a doll's house. The fitted sheet stayed on the bed. A mattress has flipped against a wall. The city of Tampa was spared a direct hit, but key streets are underwater.